like last year right i remember so uh, i as a vision pm has really give a specific speed to this uh, logistics field and as well as supply chain because that completely depends on the demand so how we are coming with the next market where we can see the renewable sectors into the platform into the demand like solar modules you can see india with a big solar modules and having the good capacity of each modules 680 watt peak or the wari and the some maximum company renew adani they are importing wafers solar wafers from the external market from china from the taiwan from the international markets and now the manufacturing hub in india so how they develop so they develop as like how the sagar mala project of pm so what they are telling about us the 7500 kilometer route of this sagar mala project what going to be developed each and every year because i can see last year growth and this year growth itself a position what we were at the last to last year we were at the 44 positions in the world with this uh, uh, international bank they what they have considered about us but this year we have just stand up at 38 positions and we are with the market of us and china right now us at 14 i think and the chinese are also 25 26 but we are moving up because complete asian market is looking toward india to big to do this uh, challenges in the market and get it success by us so i think uh, this is the point is never endless because many things we have to say uh, i last meeting i remember with uh, one of the gnpt commissioner in that during last discussion so they told what is the capacity of gnpt handling last year and how the capacity is completely full and they are unable to provide the services to their lsps the issue is behind this, we are not at the top of the e-logistics. And what is the reason behind that? It means we have a data access issues with us. We are unable to find a market train, what's going on in each and every sector, like pharma, like uh, or POL, petroleum, oil, and uh, the different sectors we have. So they, that is the point that how we are going to cater them. So one thing I remember the many projects uh, started by the government initiatives, what's going on like uh, major projects, but the people are thinking that how the funds will come. Is the central government can fund all the projects of uh, Sagar Mala, Bharat Mala and other projects? No, that's not possible. Because how can you induce the fund? First, you have to generate funds. So fund is one of the parameters we can collect so government has uh, shown a different plan with all of us. I think, I think we all are aware about the, how the plans are going on. So they are thinking about the different model. They are thinking about the 39%, 39% and 29% model. So this 39 means the central government will fund. Next 39 means state government will fund. And the last 22% is the main challenge what public PPP concept to private partners has to involve over here. So I can give you an example of Mumbai only. I think we can see that Haji, Haji Bandar to this uh, Elephanta cave. So they are connecting ropeway of 8 kilometer. I think that project was, I think the thinking of the project started within 2017. Uh, but due to this uh, COVID, all forget that and how to get cope up with the speed. Then uh, many, many issues with the environmental clearance and uh, different clearance they have to take care. So position is different. In that case also, including MPT, means uh, Mumbai Port Trust is the company and the different well, government initiatives and uh, including that the private partner who is the, I think Sapurji Palonji might be that was the, so who was taking care of that. So this type of projects, how the PPP concept is going on, funding is by them only, construction by them only. Second, I think in the, this project of PM Gati Sakti and uh, the, to remove this uh, crowd at uh, JNPT port, they have started a nearby port 150 kilometer uh, distance uh, from their place. And I remember the place is called Badhavan. Badhavan oh, is the area where they are just developing this uh, near port of 150 kilometer. And they are starting doing of each business. So all the things are what, why we are going with this, all this, uh, different different uh, get startups and different different strategy to cope up with nowadays our challenges with the logistics 
with the supply chain demand and that is only because we are we are moving to the new solution and that ulip is one of the part is the single solution platform only otherwise last year you can see the uh, nlp 2022 what they have done that till last year and maximum they can utilize the minimum resources at the time and these all are strategy coming because of demand of nowadays coming india into the logistic sectors not only in india with respect to the international business so that's my point i think we, we have to add it uh, one point i missed the from vijender that ulip so if i am talking about only single ulip so ulip is the one single platform where we could uh, find a easy of doing business how that is the reason behind that is you have to register on the site uh, register on the site getting signed the nda with them and get the access of all the datas in the system depending on your credential so that is the answer i think uh, for your point yeah so you could so yeah. thank you mukesh ji yeah. yeah i'll just add um, uh, post covid uh, many companies uh, went into for digitization activity i'm sure we like as a manufacturer we looked at the entire transportation visibility is there where we procure where we have visibility of our truck at every minute we know what's happening when it is reaching our warehouses and all that and similarly to our customers it is a clear indication saying that okay the product is going to come it is visible in the platform and they can always plan their inventory levels in a much better manner which means improving in their working capital requirement yeah when it comes to ulip i would say it goes a mile step ahead okay now the government agencies the truckers can also look at the demand in terms of what's happening or what is requirement yes. in the market okay similarly if you want to have visibility i think government is talking about adding factors wherein like it can clearly connect from the time the product is picked up till it reaches the destination you can have a real time visibility of your product as well i think right. that itself is a big change similarly lot of documentation the kind of activities that we do whether you do a pre shipment documentation or your post shipment documentation it actually reduces your efforts in terms of manual efforts that we are currently putting in our organization i'm sure in the next 2 to 3 years time uh, the more the system gets mature it will help yeah. not only the exporters but also the transporters and the freight forwarding community as well perfect actually we Thank can you. get uh, access to the drivers locations and as well as tracking of the vehicles and the consigner movements yeah. that is also the easiness of this uh, app uh, as well and they can develop the supplier or the the main partner can develop their own api on the same link and then can get it the individual facilitated from them the same thing we were yeah, yeah absolutely yeah. correct and right, idly said so uh, it's like even uh, companies are not using fast tag where we can have the track and trace of the truck for entire journey we are still uh, believing on app or sim card or gps, uh, GPS. yeah so uh, coming back to our topic uh, uh, vijay ji again i have uh, question what is role of sagarmala bharatmala to reshape india logistics i think it's a long term project uh, we are talking about connecting not only earlier it was only the road transportation which was one of the important uh, parameters and the rail transporters for commodity products now with various options like connecting to the waterways can lead to a different set of uh, or a new mode of transportation also for many manufacturing companies as well as uh, the industry as a whole so government is trying to make use of the entire ecosystem trying to make sure that how you can increase your speed of execution and also in terms of the cost cost is a main driver in the entire uh, vision of how nlp or the sagar mala it's connected to Absolutely. both the projects i would say so currently looking at the cost scenario itself i think many of the uh, i would say multinational firms which are looking at india from a cost perspective i think that really helps if you have various options okay you look at uh, europe or you look at uh, us for for that matter or even china for that matter the way they are connected separate dedicated uh, roads for uh, chemicals or from hazardous products okay india still has to take that leap uh, okay we still have same roads plying where dangerous goods will also move 
everything will move in one road. But yeah, we are progressing, I would say, into that direction so that we can become cost competitive.